flywheel in this problem has an initial angular velocity, omega naught, of 500 revolutions per minute, RPM. It spins through an angle of 200 revolutions in a time of 30 seconds, which is half a minute. We're asked in part A to find its angular speed, how fast it's spinning, at the end of that 30 second interval. We'll find that using this angular kinematic equation, delta theta, the angular displacement, is one-half final plus initial angular velocities multiplied by the time t. Solve this for the final angular velocity and substitute the given values. To see that it ends with an angular speed of 300 revolutions per minute, RPM. Part B asks us to find the time that would be required for the flywheel to come to rest. To find that, we'll first need to know the angular acceleration alpha, which we can find from the time-independent kinematic equation. Solve this for alpha. Substituting the known values from the 30-second time interval, and calculate to find that alpha is minus 400 revolutions per minute squared. Knowing this alpha, we can use the time-dependent kinematic equation, set the final angular velocity to zero, and solve for the time required to stop. That's minus omega naught over alpha, and we substitute values and calculate to find it takes 1.25 minutes for the flywheel to come to a rest. And that's 75 seconds. We're also asked to find how many revolutions the flywheel would have gone through in that time. And we can find that again using this kinematic equation with the final angular velocity omega being zero, substituting the initial and the time required to stop to find that it takes 312 revolutions for the flywheel to come to rest.